Hello guys, it's Catalyst here, and today I'm doing something completely new. Um, now you may realise that I'm on a super flat and I've got a load of pistons pulsing and I'm not sure if this is going to be too loud for you guys, but I did try and turn the volume down quite a lot. Um, but yeah, today I'm starting um, some redstone tutorials. Um, now I've never done them before and I'd appreciate you guys telling me what you thought of them. Um, now basically what I think I'm going to do for each episode is um, do a little in of find a little invention and then show you guys how it works and how to build it. Um, now the first one I've come up with, because I wanted to come up with something pretty cool, um, is a conveyor belt, as you can see here. Um, now I'll quickly show you guys what you can do with this um, and how it works. Um, basically if I open these doors, oh I think I've got a red pulls under there through this door. It's basically what I've got is um, trap doors covering um, blocks and cobblestone, um, not fences, cobblestone walls. and yeah, covering in the top cobblestone walls. So then I've got pistons pushing the sides of the conveyor belt, um, pushing it around so making it a complete circle. Um, so basically what I've, well, what I've thought of using this for is a transportation thing. So what you can do is you wait for a two block wood, stand in the middle, and basically it'll push you along. And then you've got the pistons at the side that pulls out the wall to keep you going along because I had a few problems on the corners where you would just fall through the trap door and into the wall. Um, yeah, so Basically, you can use it as a little transportation thing around the um, around your base, which would be pretty cool. Now, another thing you can do with it is it is a bit buggy with this, but you can put items on it, um, and that will kind of drag them along. But it's very, very buggy, um, so it will get them there eventually, most of the time. But um, yeah, it's a little bit buggy. So you can actually use it as an item conveyor belt, maybe. Uh, use it with a cobblestone generator or something. Um, but that's what I've thought of using it for. Um, you guys can probably think of loads more and better ideas. Maybe put what you can ideas you can have with this um, in the comments. That'd be quite interesting to um, see. Um, right. So another idea which I've come up with is what you can do with it is you can have like a mob farm cooker thing. Um, so I've got some mob eggs in here. Let me get rid of that cobble. Um, and then I I'll spawn a cow. Uh, there we go. And then basically it will push it along. Hopefully, it's a cow. There we go. It will push the cow along. Um, now, of course, mobs do move by themselves, so it can get a bit annoying. And then push it along. It'll go down there, be pushed down there into a um, lava held up by signs. And then cook it, cook all the meat. And then hopefully the items should go into the bottom. Did, did any go in or did they just burn? Oh yeah, I got a cook steak, which is quite nice. Um, so I strapped a hopper to the bottom of this. Um, of course I could just spam it and just get tons of cows. But, um, if you want to do this on survival, I'm sure you could work out a way to get the um, farm to be automatic and get the baby cows to automatically kind of feed into here. Or the, well, the adult ones. But anyway, yeah. So that's just some ideas um, that I've come up with. Um, but of course they do move back. They seem to be trying to escape. Oh, this may be a tiny bit cruel just shoving all these cows into here but yeah it's a pretty efficient cooker and stuff yeah so i'm sure you as i said i'm sure you guys can figure out more efficient ways of doing it but um yeah so anyway i think i'm going to get on to how to build this okay guys and i've just quickly gone ahead and um made a quick circuit here um so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need your um wood um your walls and four pistons now basically the way you need them set up is so that it pushes that down there and then that will push it up there around there and then keep going back and forth so you've got an endless loop um, now another thing that i like to do just to make sure that it, um that the blocks don't get pushed too far and then go into the redstone circuit and stuff is i like to get a piece of obsidian um I don't know why I grabbed a stack, um, and then put it at the corners uh, where it's going to be pushed out, just to make sure that it doesn't um, all go off, because that can cause a few problems. Um, so basically, now you've got your little circuit. Um, now, another thing is that you're going to need to add a um, gap in one of the places, um, so that it allows it to push around, because it's not going to do anything if you don't have any gaps. Okay, now that is um, the basic circuit done. Now, if I quickly turn this on, I think it should work. Um, let's get redstone torch. Uh, put it there. Oh, I think I might have made it too fast. So let's just add a bit of a timer onto it. So you do have to, um, you can't just go as fast as you want. You do need to add a little timer on it. So let's just put two ticks on this and that sh ho should hopefully be enough. Uh, there we go. And let's try that again. 
There we go. And now we've got a nice little endless conveyor belt. Okay, now basically uh, the next thing you'll need is to place trapdoors on top of all of the um, things. So I don't think it matters leaving it on or not, but um, so we're just going to make a quick wall here uh, to be able to put the trapdoors on top. So let's just go down here and quickly make the wall. Okay, now um, I'm not claiming uh, full responsibility on um, being the first one to find this because I don't know if anyone else has um, made this redstone creation. It's probably been made before, but I just thought it was pretty cool and I would show you guys. Okay, so that is all the piece of the wall done. Now what you're going to need to do is get a trapdoor. And then basically why you need a trapdoor is because it's not a um, full block, so it allows the wall to kind of push through the top of it. I mean, you can't really see it, but... Um, Basically, because fences are taller than normal blocks, it allows it to push through the trapdoor and then to um, pull you along. So let's just place the trapdoors on top, like so. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Okay. Now, the if you want it just to be um, an item transporter, then this is going to be completely fine. Um, but for people, I'll just show you what's wrong with it. Um, so it's going to drag me along here. That's going quite slow. I might have added a bit of a too big timer to it. Um, now, the problem that I've been having is the block pushes. And then you kind of get stuck here. As you can see, it didn't push me along. Now, basically, what you're going to need to sort that out is another block block on top. Actually, two blocks on top, I think. You're going to need it uh, pointing here. Yeah. So you're going to need a sticky piston. Because I feel like normal pistons don't push you as well. So what you're going to need to do is set it up so the redstone current goes into here. Oh, I'm going to have to do a bit of rewiring. But I'll just do one and then I'll do all the others off camera. Uh, so just cut that. So it's still working. Oh no, I made it too long, but oh well. Right, so basically we can make it go along here. And then into a piston, which will need to be here. And I think we can just make it so there and around there like that and that should that should work okay so basically um then put the thing there and hopefully if i put the i'm not sure if i've made the redstone current stretch too long but let's just see if it works okay so basically what that'll allow you to do is it'll make it so you don't oh, so you don't fall on uh so it keeps dragging you along and it doesn't um push you off the edge um so yeah, so it pushes you along with it. Okay, so I'll just quickly make them and put them all around the four edges. Okay guys, um, now I'll set it up on each of the four corners now. So it should hopefully help you to push you along the um, conveyor belt. Um, now, you won't need these with items, but um, you will with animals and stuff as well. Um, now, I think I set this up one wrong. I think I put it here instead of um, there. So you meant to put uh, the other piston on top of the other one, but one block to the... Uh, left of it, but if that helps, might have been a bit confusing, but um, anyway, yeah, so this is how you make the um, basic conveyor belt. Now, of course, you can add like a lava blade if you want it to be like a automatic mob cooker or and stuff like that. Um, now, yeah, so I think this um, redstone tutorial is over, but I would, as I said before, I would like you guys to um, tell me what you've managed to invent with it. And yeah, just tell me what you guys have managed to do with it. And also if you want me to carry on with these redstone tutorials. Anyway, okay, so I think that's the end. All right then, guys. Um, remember to like this video if you um, want more of them. And remember to subscribe. All right then, guys. Thanks for watching.